welcome we back to my channel for my first ever eyeshadow tutorial on my new channel. I'm actually going to be using this beast right here. Literally, it took me an arm and a leg to find this where I live, so I'm really, really happy and super excited to finally get to use it because I have been saving it for this moment just to keep it all pretty and nice. I am loving this eye look. I've noticed a lot of people are doing a lot of neutral looks, which I love, but I really, 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 really wanted to take advantage of the colors in this palette, like this navy, which is basically kind of the inspiration behind this whole entire eye look. Also, that beautiful plum color. <laughs> Sorry, I'm flipping you off, but hey, you'll like it. Um, that plum color and just a few other um, kind of intriguing colors in this palette. So, uh, if you guys are interested in watching or you know, um, you wouldn't be watching it already, but if you're interested in learning how to get this look, just go ahead and keep watching. Just to ensure our beautiful masterpiece lasts all day long, we are gonna start off with an eye primer. Moving right along, we're gonna go ahead and take our NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the beautiful shade, excuse that perrito barking, Cobalt, and we're gonna, really? We're gonna go ahead and apply this directly onto our eyelid, and this is going to act as a beautiful base for our navy eyeshadow later on. So today we are obviously using the Laura Pro 2 palette and I'm gonna take that beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous navy color eyeshadow and place this all over my lids using a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Next, we're gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of buff. It's a vanilla eyeshadow, very smooth and velvety. We're just gonna go ahead and apply this to our brow bone and this is going to act as our highlighting color. I truly believe creating a beautiful transitional crease is kind of key when it comes to smoky eyes, so we're gonna be using quite a few shades. First, I'm gonna be using this light brown shade and applying this directly to my crease all the way up to my brow bone and we are just going to be blending that out just a tad. Next, moving on, we're gonna take some of this cool gray and basically kind of concentrate this a little more into the crease directly. Um, and again, just kind of blending this out for even a little more depth and to kind of make that navy shade a little more smoky, we're just going to apply this really concentrated there into the crease and feathering out into cool gray. To smoke out our outer corner just a tad, we are gonna go ahead and take some of that black, which is pretty much a black shadow, surprise, surprise, and applying this kind of to our outer V, we are gonna blend this into our navy blue eyeshadow that's on our lid, and we're gonna even take this up into the crease just a very little bit using a light hand, of course, because you wanna go for smoke, not for joke, just saying. The black can be pretty harsh on the lids, I'm gonna be completely honest. So I wanted to go in with a plum and place that on top of the entire base lid there just to restore some of that purpley bluish hue, but also kind of give it a little something extra. To finish off the top part of the eye look, we definitely need an inner corner highlight, and we're gonna use beige, which just so happens to be my all time favorite inner corner highlight, so it's pretty obvious that we're gonna use this one. Off camera, I did go ahead and apply my Ardell Glamour Wispies using my Duo Brush On Adhesive Lash Glue. I also did tight line my upper waterline using my Master Drama Maybelline Retractable Eyeliner, as well as creating my signature classic winged eyeliner on the upper lash line as well. I do have a tutorial and I will link that down below. <laughs> I also lined my lower lash line as well with the black pencil. Then just to kind of set it, I am taking a little bit of this black eyeshadow just to make sure it doesn't smudge or go nowhere. For the last final steps, we are going to go ahead and grab a little bit of that cool gray and just line our lower lash line as well as touch up our inner corner highlight using beige. And then just to kind of seal in the deal, we are going to be applying a little bit of mascara to our lower lashes. 
starting off by adding a little glow to those cheeks. We're just gonna take a MAC MSF in soft and gentle and apply those to where the sun would naturally shine. Moving on, using my Anastasia contouring kit, we are gonna grab that middle bronzer there and apply this to the hollows of our cheeks, on our temples, and even a little bit down our jaw. I'm gonna go in with this darker shade here in the palette and just kind of deepen up things a little bit. So I also like to contour my nose using the middle shade again. I'm just going to go up and down the sides of my nose just to kind of give that schnozzle a slimmer appearance. And then also I like to kind of create a little butt nose by gently bringing it along the tip there. And finishing off the schnozzle by grabbing some of that banana powder and just running it along where the sun would naturally hit my nutties. For the final touches, we are gonna add some blush using my NARS Oasis and Orgasm Duo. Just taking a little bit of that Oasis blush and gently brushing it over the tops of my cheeks. To moisturize my crusty crustaceans, I like to first apply a US Lip Balm. Not sure what the flavor is on this one. I am using Max Angel Lipstick, and then on top of that, I do believe it is a NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie. To ensure I get the longest wear out of my makeup as possible, I love to set my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is definitely one of those holy grail must-have products that I totally recommend you picking up. So that about wraps it up for my tutorial using the new Lorac Pro 2 palette. Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Will you be trying this look out for yourself? Do you have any other videos or tutorials that you recommend me check Checking out, do you have any other suggestions or anything of that sort? Also, let me know what your favorite um, eyeshadows are in this palette. I'm really freaking loving this thing to pieces so far, and I'm totally, 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 totally looking for um, looking forward to doing more tutorials with this beast here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Comments down below. Also, no, let me know. <laughs> oh, I forgot to turn off the fan. <laughs> I mighty. Yeah, we got a remote control. We cool like that. Not really. It's hot as balls. You ever have one of those moments where your hair just doesn't all listen? Okay, we're ready. Let's do this. <gasps> oh my god.